Hey there guys, it's Lee here. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a dummy file. So dummy files can be useful if you want to create a dummy file of a certain size, if you want to fill up space on a drive, or if you're writing to a disk and you want to sort of fill up that empty space to, to burn a full disk, for example, you can use dummy files in lots of different ways and they can be quite useful from time to time. So let's get started. I'll show you how to do that. So open up your web browser. I'll put a link in the video description, but the place that you want to go to or the website that you want to go to is myneco.com forward slash dummy. From this website, you can download the dummy MSI file. So just select that to download it. Save it to your downloads folder or a place of your choice. We can now run the dummy MSI file. So you won't get this same option for you. You'll just be able to install it. Once it's installed, you're ready to use a dummy file creator. So from here, it doesn't uh, save a desktop um, icon or anything like that. So you kind of have to search it out afterwards. If you press your start button, you should see it's been recently added. So we can select the dummy file creator. So you can see we have single file or multiple files. I'll show you how to create a single file. So we've got the file path. This is where the file is going to be saved. So we click browse and I'm just going to save it on the desktop and we need to give it a file name so we'll call it big big dump and save next we have the file size so I'll select one you can select the option here in megabytes gigabytes or kilobytes so I'm going to select gigabytes so we're going to create a one gigabyte file size and it's going to be called big dump so let's go on hit the create button and that's it so it's been written it only takes a few seconds normally if it's quite a small file uh, we we'll click OK and then we're ready we can create another one for example if we wanted to up here you can see we've created that big dump file and from here we can copy it to a different location copy it to a hard drive copy it to a disk or you use it however we like but that's the basics of creating dummy files thanks for watching I'll see you guys in the next video